<laughs> uh, here we go. I have. Go. Welcome. Hello. Welcome back to My Must Be On. I think game four of them. No, back. But um, hopefully by the time you watch it, it will be 2019. But for me, it is September 12, 2018, gonna be the video. Yeah, I decided to go with my plan of watching the Kofi get the Kogar airing of the UK and Spain. You know, a while before we get them in January. And I come with so long like I just watch we have a and for a VR problem I got to involve it by simply recording the VR after I watch them and we come in the air go. And I do not well by the time I forgot you know about the plan, but I'm not planning to beat on Coach Media and VR really give you indication that I did this until figure out or by before it starts to come out. You know? I'll um, like maybe retweet and re you know, to a time of for your stuff, but I already did that before even watching them because it was a funny little thing versus the game. And but it's not like I got going to do anything, not like I'll do anything crazy, you know, and a, and a tag, so, you know, for like I'm pulling anyone else. Yeah, never tag you for anyone from back when I, I primarily will do. But anyway, Oh yeah, but oh yeah. I wish I would doing the vlog, but I feel like I have to either do them. Go, but I don't want to pride me of the show. Go, there you go. But you're not compromising. And you won't keep me until the air anyway. Cause not your thing for you anyway. And yeah, I'll pull I'll pull back what I usually do in the vlog. I'll try not to anything crazy, but uh, or if I'm going to pull it's nothing major. You know. Anyway, look up. Anyway, we're talking about the the to um the um. By the way, um, I'm going to. Two half hour will be go far, and I'm going to do the next one right after I do do this video. Go back, I'll be wearing game clothes and both of them. But hopefully, from now on, like one a day has been airing. Go roughly, or something like that. But anyway, let's talk about No Way Out, written by um, we'll get Martin Olkin and Scott Peterson. Um, this episode more or less remake from Pilot, but this time it's winter. Go fuck um gank my heart to find a way to get to the pool. You know why I'm not gonna make a bet about it. Um and yeah, and meanwhile the coding cameras get put on trial over at Bot, you know, for what for basically you know, for Trouble Wave Con to, you know, with them not knowing about their time travel stuff with Dashian because again everything got involved. Much like it happened with Milo. Go yeah. And yeah, you do need to watch the Concord before anything after because stuff happens there that was like, look up code. Like, do it for a quick cameo at the beginning, mostly to remind us that, oh yeah, he's part of the show now. He doesn't do anything for him. He, I like the joke in the beginning, but again, it bothered me if he didn't give him there. But he, he can get a joke, he's not important. Um, anyway, uh, look up code had problems, but overall I did like it. I feel odd that they basically redid the pilot, but the time of winter. But first problem I have is the timeline. Okay, it's winter. Go, well, you would think maybe take me before the code. Yeah, you know, but then you remember doing trolling in that one and depth, and not to mention they could dealing with directly going having to code cabinets that wouldn't make no sense for the one to be before the code. But doing short not being in that one. Which leaves me, and yeah, and they mentioned it, and they show a calendar to get the temper, so it can before Christmas. So, if I go, how is that possible? I'm getting the puppy a year later, a year later from that episode. And can it not get to me? Why are jumping ahead to go far into the future? Like a year later, it's like, and we're come show get away with that because we're not strong continuity, but the show does have continuity and the story goes very odd to me. But, oh well, um, but anyway, it would go on if they were redoing the pilot, but in winter. Like, if they did, like, they back time to the pilot, or if they made more jokes about, hey, we're gonna have before, we got a couple, but not a lot, you know. I mean, from big after it, like we did Dark Park, that one up code. Or if we did Echo Me from Clue, like the show Phoenix Verb did. But, no, a day to day to go through that pilot again, but this time it's winter. Yeah, but what makes it sort of work is that they do make things up and turn to from things like, um, I do like the joke they do about going through Hollywood and we're like, no, not again, any congested, never, area, which I'll fucking change her name. 
you know, you know, stuff like that. Like, and they do, if I, I, like, I read um, uh, a friend the little write up he did of the episode uh, earlier, um, and he could draft that one to show how far Kevin will come against the pilot to be in terms of gag, like how he more used to it, and how you know, and now want to be more positive like Milo is. But again, you're know, probably because he's so afraid of some stuff we go through. And I'm gonna like moment where I give him a sort of thrown in moral, but it's still good moral we do with him. And then I go funny moral with Milo right after we do that, but I enjoy it. And there was one like moment that I have a look at where she dropped down if Milo will indeed make it. But I liked that. So, so overall, that main pot did indeed work for me, even though it was weird that they were doing the pilot again. And I do feel like with the showing how far it can have come, Works better when it's later in the hearing and we've known them for a while. I mean, we know for a little bit, but you feel know, like maybe you should do that significantly later, like toward like, the end. Yeah, but you know, I've been 30 coming kind of with them, and it's been real time, it's been like a, over a year, almost two years actually. Shit. Yeah, yeah I believe it a few weeks, it'll have been two years ago. Yeah, so oh, that cool. So, yeah, that generally worked. Oh, but the Kong like one that nobody really can go that cool. Uh, it's not that memorable of a Kong, but it's deep enough, and it gets split up for some reason. That sort of got plot, not an awful lot to it. It done to sort of direct how things are going over, but, and something happened with the Kong and Gavinish that obviously will affect things going forward. You know, and that I found sort of interesting. Uh, and I can make call back in a mini clip show. Uh, in another uh, like moment with the Dakota and Cavendish. And then the ending joke was when you remember what just happened with, with some of the people seen, Doug and make sense, but it did make for a funny ending. So, another thing I about, liked about the cup of code, and Bradley, he gets to go back to what he looked like in the pilot because he's doing the. And apparently, he had like a plant hand arm. I didn't know it, but. A friend pointed it out, which is an actual reference to the crossover. Um, uh, he called a uh, plant arm go. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. Um, no, yeah. So this one I have problems, like, okay, it's weird that I did a pilot again. There are a couple things that don't quite add up. Not say it's a really funny episode, but in the end, it's a fun little package, and what we do from pilot to show how different it is, is something that I enjoyed, you know, and the plot will go with a flawed, but solid enough that will go for it. But come to episode because of the title, I prefer the loud house can take, but I throw into waiting for the episode, nevertheless. So, yeah, not, yeah, it still got me a little worried, but it's still an interesting episode to be heard. Yo, I'm going to pause and watch the other episode because uh, I had a show on, like after I watched that episode and uh, a show I'm uh, watching came on, uh, new episode and I had to watch that, go fuck I've been able to watch the other episode, go fuck I got it, and because I didn't wait too long before talking about this one, I decided to do that thing where I watched the episode, do this part, then go watch the other episode, but for the rest of the evening I'll just talk, I'll watch them both in a row, then do this. So yeah, uh, Paul, again, I'll see you in a few seconds, <laughs> uh, for on your end to talk about the other episode. Paul. Okay, now I'm back with Teacher Feature, written by Scott Peterson, fitting. Um, now she came out with one. We plotted it basically at the start of the episode, um, before the she accidentally thinks Milo falls underground, in which she is gay by Scott the Undergrounder. The two actually hit off and kind of fall in love and do the guy to go on a date together, which means Scott has to clean up in order to impress him. So, um, we get Scott Peterson wrote the Scott in our episode. I believe Uncle Voight can come back, I'm not sure. Um, but I know that he is he an eight gigabyte character. Um, but the episode was fun. Um, it is very cliche. I, you've seen the plot before with going on. You know, two like guy kind of characters going on a date, and one of them had to, you know, prep for it in some way. The other couple were not date ready. My dog did the, you know, I swear a lot of shows have, but too many have come to my mind, but 
No, it's not predictable that way, but it's fun. After a previous episode, of course, had some slight plot relevance, this one is sore, but in a good way. Because it's the fun, goofy episode about, you know, Scott, Rusty, who can't get, get more to do. And they got, Scott, I'm coming to my favorite side character. Miss Rusty didn't get a lot to do, but she does get some good lines. And yes, he not only didn't cave her, but he gave her death. <laughs> um, so, uh, Burger Kong, uh, background Kong. Uh, yeah, how he's coming up, you know, you know, you know, you know he, he can get better, um, but, uh, it's a fun Kong, nothing that memorable, though. But, um, you know, uh, but, yeah, you know, book where a joke landed. Uh, my favorite joke, um, my, my favorite one Garbo's got, uh, the ending joke got me, that was great. It could call that to the beginning, and that was very funny. Um, um, and, by the way, uh, I'm get to talk in um, you know, go, and they, they do have decent chemistry, um, not perfect, but decent. They do, uh, you know, the humor again, like, amazing in a couple of hours, but the, the only few guys that really got me, but they're, um, they do a stick where my life to pretend to be a way to go without a restaurant. What's the complaint I got in the game where going to a movie? Yeah, they have a humor key, and none of the time will like, parody or anything in particular. Nothing I know of, they're just titles. Um, they're locked and landed. John Landis? I don't know. Uh, hopefully I'm Mac Landis. <laughs> uh, hopefully, because I'm not Mac. But, um, important. I do like the movie that it did the key. Um, that was a, a funny scene. Um, one thing, it's a weird observation, but, um, towards the end, we got talking with Rocky talking, and it could cook up Sean, and for some reason, the way we were animated reminded me of Family Guy. Like, drone animation is usually, like, a common thing, but when somebody can have a shot, coming about the way they moved to slightly reminiscent. And I never got any family guy vibe from the animation on either of show, but for that World 2 shot, for some reason, the way they the mouth moved and stuff, and I don't know why. It's a weird observation, but, um, yeah, it's a good fun. Cliché, definitely, and predictable, yes. Um, they don't. They don't end up for going out. That would be nice thing to shake up down quote a little bit. But no, she has her only true love. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm kind of hoping it would be a big triangle between him and the deck, which would have been great, but nah. But yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a little but the one I found to be pretty entertaining. So yeah, that was going out and um, teacher feature. Not sure what they mean a feature, but whatever. Um, the other one going to have a more to it, but this one, by being cliche, but more consistent, and I found it to be a little funnier. I laughed more at it. Pretty cliche, but still a fun episode. And there we go. There we first half, first, get a limit up, go for the opinion, and for proper half hour. Um, I have, but I know already how the outcome going to be aired, because I know already if you've seen that video next week, or next day, I don't know. But I'll know by the time I posted. Um, yeah, and, uh, the other episode that I got for, for my end at the moment, and I'll watch that tomorrow because, again, my computer can be a little grief at the moment because I'll wait till tomorrow and I got stuff to do. So, but anyway, the next episode, um, you know, got Agent Yoji and Agent Yoji and Fitzroy. Um, so I'll see you for those, um, for whenever they eventually are. <laughs> um, bye bye.